All right, well, today we're gonna to be showing you how to use the ES1000H slash D control board. We're basically gonna be explaining the parameters and how to change them and how they actually affect the gate operator. Um, first, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the buttons here. Set allows you to go into the parameters, so P1 through six. Um, button one allows you to increase the parameter. Button two allows you to decrease the parameter. So I'm gonna go ahead and press set here and bring you to P1. The P1 setting is the runtime for the gate operator. So just to give you an example of how it works, uh, the opener is gonna move about a foot per second. So if you have a 10 foot gate, it may take 10 seconds for it to get open, 10 seconds for it to get closed. Um, you wanna bump the timer up based on uh, things like wind or anything like that that would slow the gate operator down and keeping it from reaching the open or closed position within that time frame. And you also want to make sure that you give the gate opener enough time to reach both the open and closed limit switch. I'm going to go ahead and change it to P2. Uh, P2 is the slowdown time for the gate operator. So what that means is if we were to set our total run time at 20 seconds and we set P2 to 10 seconds, the, uh, once the timer hits 10 seconds, uh, the voltage going to the motor is going to be lowered in order to slow it down. So that's pretty much all that function does. Uh, we're gonna press the set button again here and go to P3. The P3 setting is how much force the gate operator will apply during operation in order to operate the gate. Uh, what you wanna do to set the setting is you wanna set it at the max, which is 32. The, the range adjustment goes from one all the way up to 32. So you wanna start high and then bump it down to where the gate is operating regularly, but still obstructs if something is in the path of the gate or if it feels some sort of pressure against it. So you do wanna to, want to start it high and then bump the setting down low to a point where it starts to obstruct. Once you get it to that point where it's obstructing, you want to bump it up by three and go from there. Uh, we're gonna to go to, to P4 here. P4 is the delay between leaves. So if you're using a dual gate operator and your second dip switch is up, what this means is that when the gate is closing, it will delay the primary opener so that the secondary opener can close first, which is very important for how the gate opener works. The, the secondary needs to reach its close limit before the primary. All right, we're going to go to P5 here. P5 is the release time for the lock. So what that means is if you're using a gate lock and you have that third dip switch up, when the gate goes to open after clicking the remote, or using an accessory, whichever it may be. The, depending on how you have the setting set, it can go anywhere from one to four seconds. It will send voltage to the lock for that set amount of time. So if, as an example, if I set it at four seconds, the lock would get voltage for four seconds. This is very important for especially a dual gate setup. So that way the lock has enough time to release from the receiving pin. So that way it does not bind up. Uh, I'm going to go to P6, which is the last setting of all the parameters. P6 is the auto reclose time. So if you have that first dip switch in the up position, um, P6 will be active. Uh, the setting goes from zero all the way up to 99 seconds. Uh, what this means is once the gate reaches the fully open position and, and hits that open limit switch, it will stop and the timer will start, meaning AU will come up on the display. Uh, when you see AU, that means that the internal timer is active and it will start to count down for your set amount of time and then close the gate back automatically for you. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and clear the display and uh, explain one more thing here. Uh, button one and button two can both be used to uh, open or close the gate. Button one will open the gate and close the gate. Button two will only open the gate. And this will only happen when the display is blank. So, you know, this is basically how the control board works. You know, if you have all these settings set properly, you should not have any issues with the gate operator. It should work consistently for you. Thank you for watching this video by WebDirect Brands and our partner stores. Please view the details on the screen to find more information about our products and where to buy them. Our product pages are filled with information to answer any questions you may have, and our customer service staff are standing by to assist you in your purchase. We hope you have found this video helpful, and be sure to visit our sites on the screen and in the description to view more of our useful products.